Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the Sky CPX3 chambered in 380. Sky introduced this three years ago and on two separate occasions they announced that they were going to release it and for some reason or another they did not. February 2019 they finally released the Sky CPX3. Now the average gun guy says you know just take everything from the CPX2 and scale it down a bit and Chamber it in 380. Am I missing something? Yes, you're actually missing quite a bit because the amount of engineering that goes into just doing that, saying what you just said, is incredible. Like each part has to be scaled down more than we even know. So it does take time, it takes a lot of energy. But Sky did it right, and I'll tell you why. They made some improvements over their 9mm models, the CPX2, and these are improvements that I think their customers will like. Let's start with the grip. If you recall, the CPX2 has like scallops on the back of the grip and it actually made it wider, about a quarter inch wider. They removed those, still has the finger grooves, but it's, a, it's about a quarter inch thinner, which makes a difference. You know, a quarter inch on a subcompact gun, yeah, that makes a difference. There's no question about that. It does come with three magazines. Now, the website says two. This this came with three in the case. When I got this, it came with three. Two flat base plates, all 10 rounds, and one extended base plate. I've got some uh, 380 in there so that when we weigh it, we'll get a good idea. But it does come with three magazines and three finger contact. Now, two and a half with the flat base plate, three finger with the extended magazine. Another improvement that they made, and we'll show clear here, is the trigger. The CPX2 trigger has a trigger weight at nine pounds. This is at eight pounds. So they shaved off an entire pound of the long double action pull. It is a hammer fired gun, right? You see that hammer there. But you do go to a full reset, all right, but it, it resembles a revolver, you know, it's, it's, it's rather, rather smooth, no problems there, but it is a long double action trigger pull that, that's heavier than your average double action trigger pull. They consider that a safety because people may pocket carry this gun and that would, that would be considered a safety. Now, the barrel length is just under three inches like just under three inches you know and, and now the cpx2 was just over three like 3.1 this is like 2.96 so the the barrel length is just a little bit shorter but what they did was they they still have the three dot sights but the rear sight is adjustable and that's a pretty nice touch all right the msrp is 305 a little under 300 at this point in time and I have to believe it's going to drop as time continues. And once these get out. Now, it does say right there, Robot Quad Lock System. So I want to explain that. I'm going to do that by disassembling the gun. Lock the slide back. And just loosen up that pin and pull it out. And then off comes the slide. There's your frame, polymer frame. And then here's what we're looking at. We have a captured recoil spring and guide rod and your 2.96 or something like that barrel now the the barrel on the other one had a, a little flare to it this one does not just a straight edge barrel and there is your slide the one thing that i've noticed is in it says the roebuck quad lock system it this barrel actually works as a, a 1911 with locking lugs it it gets in there nice and tight and as the gun fires it comes right back to this position it's said to have four contact points that is the quad lock the roebuck quad lock to keep everything nice and tight and therefore it will also increase accuracy so each time this moves it comes back to this position and it's very tight uh, that sky claims is a is a excellent feature and i have no reason to doubt that so that's what we're looking at there. It, 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 it actually took quite a bit of research to find out what exactly that meant because there was uh, a little bit of confusion over that, you know, and uh, I read it on, on their site and I read other reviews to figure out 
what exactly is this quad lock so I think I got it right and we'll see if uh, anybody comes up with any other ideas we'll punch this back in there and there we go let's go ahead and get it on the scale and get the knife out of the way and see what this is weighing in at with an unloaded magazine the CPX 3 is weighing in at one pound one and a half ounces we move that to just ounces 17 and a half if we put the 10 rounds of 380 you're looking at 21 ounces even so that's not bad that's not bad the the 10 rounds nine rounds went in easy that extra round I, I had to get out a, a speed loader to push that in there that was tough the one gun that i think that would measure up well with it is the remington rm380 now we could take a look at this the advantage that the sky has is that it holds or the mags carry four additional rounds but it is smaller on the right the sky's a little wider and there's what we're looking at with the grip so you can see that it, it's got a little size on it but the, the benefit of that is 10 rounds so there it is guys eight pound trigger pull rather smooth not the quickest trigger around but not the worst either does have adjustable sights a thinner thinner grip in that roebuck quad lock system it's supposed to make it more accuracy i think it will but we'll have to see if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe